Witches. Welcome back to my garden. Um, today I'm going to be showing you what we're doing in the garden, how we're coming along. We're going to show you how we're building our bed boxes and how we're going to amend the soil, what we're doing in our rows, how we planned out our rows, and that's about it. Um, so yeah, we got a lot going on. I'll show you some of my really cool finds that I got some of my freebies for the garden. Um, so, and when I'll, I'll definitely fill you in on what I'll be doing with that stuff um, in another video. So let's go. Let's let's see what we're going to be doing in the garden. All right, guys. So right here, we can start right here. This is the uh, bed one. This is rice. Our, our bed one. All right. So what we decided to do, we get we, we got 12 by 12 boards, and what my husband did was he cut them in half long ways down all the way down and it made two boards after that it made two boards these are some um some corner um some edging what, what's really unique about these is that you can place your boards right down in the um in the slots right here that were designed for this purpose and as you can see there the notches on are on all four sides and that means that you can extend your garden bed out in different directions. You can even go up with your garden bed if you want it to and make it a lot higher. The possibilities for construction are endless here. And also, let me get a little closer shot if you want to come in and show them this, this block here. Inside of here, this is a, a hole here for maybe a rebar just so that you can continue to get extra support um, so this doesn't move. But we didn't do that. This is totally movable right now. And that's because we want to make sure this is positioned where we want it before we, you know, make anything more permanent. All right? All right, so that's what we did here. And I found all these materials at Home Depot. Um, Home Depot had these um, these uh, cubed um, corner. Um, a few moments later. I don't know what they call these at the store, but um, these these are these were at Home Depot, and they ran for about three dollars and maybe twenty five cent, three fifty, something like that. Um, but these twelve by twelves, they were a little bit expensive. They were about 11 and a half. They were almost 12, I believe. They were quite expensive. But if you think about it, you buy one and then you can cut it in half and make two. So, you know, if you think about it that way, maybe it won't be so bad. And also, um, these are not treated. These are not treated. This is not treated wood. What does that um, mean? This is not treated. That means that it doesn't have any chemicals on the wood, okay? Very cool thing. All right, now let's take a look at the garden. As you enter, they, there are two beds side by side. We're running a row down the middle. All right, and we're gonna come in and we left an opening here just for you to kind of walk into. We leveled this out. And what we did was we took um, some wood here and we just cut them in pieces to make these little small posts. We ran some string along each row from one side to the next, making sure that it was level and straight. And that is how we created our rows with string, just like that. Okay, now what we did here is we ran a string towards the center, all right? This will be a walkway, okay? So this will be a walkway. So wherever there is, there's a bed and we dug out in between each bed, that'll be an area for us to walk through so we can get to all of the you know, fruits and vegetables that way. It'll be a lot easier for us to walk through it. And I only wanted just enough space, just so I can put my foot right in between each row. Now what we're doing here is we're starting to amend the soil and what we're using is a soil conditioner and we're also using um, Dr. Earth, um, which is um, the planting mix, a compost, really good for vegetable, fruit gardens. Um, really, really good, all organic, natural um, compost. So inside of this container um, are both of those 
mixes and I mix them up. They're really nice. If you squeeze it, it stays in place. The soil conditioner and uh, this is this is the compost. This is what we're using to and we're mixing them both together. All right. What I did was I laid it on the mounds. I work this soil into the original soil because I want my plants to get used to the soil that they have to grow in. I don't want to really create something totally new. I want them to kind of get adjusted to what is already here. And then as the years go on, I'll continue to better and you know improve the soil and improve the soil as time goes on. Okay, so I just take my little fork here, just go in, taking care, being careful not to, when I come across a really hard piece that won't crumble, I'll just toss it out because we have to still finish the exterior part of the beds. We, are, we haven't finished that yet, so I'm not really worried about that right now. What I'm worried about right now is getting all the beds done and getting the mounds amended. I come across rocks and what I do is I have a bucket that I keep all of my rocks in. Um, bed still has a lot of rocks and we just go in, we pick out the rocks, pick out as many as we possibly can. When we see the rocks and we just carry it around, we have a lot of ground to cover in bed number two. So we're gonna just finish bed number one, get bed number one nice and tight, and then we'll be ready to plant. All right, so let me show you some of the um, freebies that I picked up today. That'll be awesome in the garden. All right, so here's freebie number one that I got for the garden today. Wood tree stumps. Be excellent little seats in the garden, right? And I tried to find some with different little character in it. This one is kind of cute. It has like a little divot inside. It's shorter. And I tried to, you know, uh, vary them in size. Freebie number two. So I was able to get some pallets from a local grocery store in our town, which is awesome. I can't wait to show you guys what we're going to be doing with the pallet wood in the garden. So excited about that. I'm so excited. And if it's like any type of paint or anything like that on there, I'll more than likely paint it. Um, it's not chemically treated. It's all natural heat treated wood. So good wood. Good wood. We're passing by it, so I might as well show you. But this uh, was um, a muscadine vine that did not do too well. So we ended up having to cut it all down. Um, and I'll try to see what I can save. Not too sure. Here is the wood chip pile. Here is the wood chip pile. Okay, <laughs> wood chips can be used in many ways in the garden. Of course, you know it can be broken down and made into really good compost. Um, we're gonna use these in the pathways of the garden for the raised bed. So, freebie number three, amazing, amazing. And the good part about it is that they really need it. They don't mind dropping wood chips where you want them. Um, they brought them all the way back to the back of our property here and dumped them here. And then they said that they would be more than happy to bring me more if I needed it. Total score, right? So, freebie number three. Check. I'm going to finish amending these beds and the next time we'll be planting. Thanks for joining me in the garden today. and. Bye.